All right, Feather. You're not feeling good, huh? You don't want no Tino fish broth or nothing, do you, huh? Eh. It's not very lively, that's for sure. All right, Mr. Onyx. I think you're oblivious. Your, your mommy just passed away, Feather. She just, I don't know what happened. I'll just explain it. Um, she looked like she was doing fine. I was always giving her the Ad Life vitamins. Uh, she was getting the coconut oil. All these guys get that. Uh, the pumpkin. Even get some of the colloidal silver water in their in her uh, silver in the water to keep it from you know turning bad over the day. Uh, I don't know what happened with her, but Friday she seemed absolutely fine. All last week she seemed absolutely fine. You know, eating. She used to hang out. She used to sleep on the edge of my bed all the time. She looks like him, only longer fur, bushier tail, and a lot smaller though. And um, I'll probably put a clip of her like when I. I'm kind of like burned out of this stuff with these, you know, cats passing away, but it's like, you know, I was worried about him because I remember what happened with Rocky uh, two years ago when Putin passed away suddenly on Christmas Day, uh, Christmas Eve Day on 2022, December 24th. He, Rocky was had his arms around him and stuff, and he was so devastated. That was his lifelong buddy. He died of grief within 24 hours. This, you, you don't even know what's going on. I'm glad. I, I showed him where she was sick, um, like Saturday night. It seemed like something might have been wrong with her. Well, I thought something was wrong Saturday. It's Friday. I did not know anything was wrong with her. And late last, I guess it was in the wee hours of the morning, like 2.30, 2, 2.30, I gave her some water, had a little, and she um, drank some of it, but then she had pains. I don't know what it was, some kind of pain. So I'm thinking she had some kind of intestinal cancer or something. I don't know what it was. I don't know what, it's like it, when these cats get cancer, it's like it's so fast acting. It's like, boom, you know, sometimes. I don't know. I don't know what was wrong with her. And so just a few hours ago, she passed. I'm going to probably put a, um, a couple of clips of her, you know, running around. She, you know, I feel bad, but, you know, what the heck do you do, man? It's like, you know, now... The other guys are fine. I mean, uh, Goldie's fine. He's fine. He, he had a problem last year. He's fine. He's 10. He's been in here. He's been here just about 10 years. He, he got in here Thanksgiving inside on Thanksgiving uh, 2014. He's about, he might have been born late August 2014 or early September 2014, something like that. Leo's fine. I don't know how old he is. Maybe six years old a lot uh, I don't know where Starlet is right now she's okay she's not sneezing or nothing there's Wolfie he's fine uh, so I don't know I'll put some clips of her but man I don't know I ain't getting any more new ones man I'm telling you this is like it's too they don't live long enough if they live 50 years I'd be more uh, there's some guy if you look on Wikipedia he had a cat cream puff that lived to be 38 years old and I don't know how that happened or what, you know. He had, he had, a, he had another one that was 30-something. He had a few of them that were over 30. So it, there's a potential for them to live that long. But I don't know what, exactly what he did. He made some eggs and vegetables. Let's see where Starla is. All right, she's fine. She likes standing up on things. She's fine. I thought maybe one of these guys was all... Sometimes they're oblivious... But man, Rocky, he really took it hard, man. She's okay, too. She barely ever, ever sneezes before. She used to sneeze like rapid fire all the time, like, ch -ch -ch -ch. and they had a vet try to put her on like these steroids and her screwing her up. And I, I just use natural stuff. She barely ever, ever sneezes now. She's like all normal. So she filled out, too. So I've had her, how long did I have you? About a year? More than a year? More than a year. I got you in, uh, I think May or April of 2023. So you've been, I've had you a year and a half. She's, um, she was born April 4th, I think in 2022. It's the beginning of April, 2022. She's only like two and a half. But man, I remember these other people that are only, I don't know how old uh, Feather was. 
just like just like with the cat I had Goldie I assumed she was a young cat because she was small and you know the big hint was that she couldn't jump up on the hood of the El Camino she had to like claw her way up there or something uh that was telling me she's like an old cat like good 15 years old even when I adopted her back in 27 or found her she found me in 2017 but uh now this guy that's a brother over there so he was the son he's the son of Feather who just passed away so he's uh fucking you're like you're like you don't even care you know he's like I'm glad he doesn't he doesn't notice man I saw her I showed him her but I didn't show her I didn't show him her when she after she passed which is good it's like he's happy he's like because I remember what happened to Rocky but I'm not sure how old Feather was because if he's six and a half and she was an adult and I'm thinking she was a kitten when she gave birth but she's a small cat She's always been small. She never got bigger. So she wasn't a kitten when she gave birth. Then I picked up on one of my YouTube videos from before. There was a black cat, looked like her with the big feth bushy tail, a year before he was born. And so she was an adult when she was he was seven and a half years ago. She, so she's at least eight and a half. But I don't know. It could be a heck of a lot more than that. I have no idea. But the other thing is, she was somebody's cat because she's very, she'd go right up to people. She's the only one here that would go right up to people all the time. It's a complete stranger. So somebody had her as a, and somehow she got, I don't know what it was. That's why I'm kind of reluctant to adopt them. But, you know, turned out, you know, nobody was feeding her. So I was feeding her and then she came in here. But she's been here. Well, she's been here. Me feeding her since June of 2018. Or before that. Before that. Because this guy was born in May of 2018. So she was here before that. And I did not even know about him until the beginning of June of 20, 2018. So he's... I've been feeding her for the last seven years with all the good stuff. But I don't know. You know. I don't know. Well, you figure she's had to be at least, <coughs> if I saw her on a <coughs> video a year before she, he was born and she was an adult, that makes she's a minimum of eight and a half. But I think what went wrong with her, she had some kind of cancer because somehow, I think it was in a, I don't know, some kind of cancer. She couldn't eat all of a sudden. I don't know what it was. Whatever it was, it was very fast acting. Because last week, there was no... She seemed like she was fine. I was always... See, here's the flea comb. You see how much I'm using it? I was brushing her fur. She was, like, perfectly clean. So I don't know what, I don't know what happened. It's like all of a sudden. I wish these... Now, I wish I knew the secret where these guys would live at least 25 years. You know? I don't like this. Well, I don't know how old she was. She could have been... She could have been over 15 for all I know. I have no clue. I have no clue. I have no idea. Thinking about it, that I know for a fact that she's at least eight and a half from just the video evidence. Uh, and she is tame and not afraid of people. Um, that means somebody was taking, somebody had her, you know, she's around people for a while. And she could be easily over 10. Easily. So who knows? All right, so where's she? I'm getting her. She's gonna have a cremation. This is Tiffany Goldiggy, and that's her son Dixie. He would never want to go in the house, and he found he got poisoned. That was back on February, um, 2020. He was let. He's almost two years old, and remember that when I when I saw him, he just made it back, and but he never. He was always deathly afraid to be in the house. That's when I brought Onyx and uh, Feather inside for old forever after that so she's gonna go right next to his son here tiffany over here she's getting a private cremation and this is my only girl cat right now little starla right you're doing good you don't sneeze no more and there's onyx in his usual spot on top of the speaker he loves being over here so he seems like he's okay right you all right little friend yeah 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 i'm gonna give him some treats right now so they're getting some treats, right? Goldie's in another room. He's just in his usual spot. He hangs out in the room. Here's Leo right here. Right, Leo? You don't eat treats. I don't know why. 
Well, we got a bunch of kittens down there in the steps. <laughs> there's, there's Feather. She's got her own kitten. There's another kitten. Uh, there's another kitten that had more kittens. Look at them three. Mm -hmm. Look at that. They're so cute. <laughs> hey, right, little baby? Put some uh, turkey broth in the spoon there. See, your face looks nice. Hey, no problem there. Your face looks good, huh? I don't know if I can touch you, but you look okay. You should clean now. Maybe Mama cleaned you up. And uh, gave her a big bowl of food. <laughs> she's, 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 she's coming around this spoon wondering what the hell it is. I put that spoon there with a little uh, turkey broth in there. So, oh, there's flies all over the place, but what can you do? It's hot. I cleaned the bowl out. I gave her a heaping. I already fed her um, two cans this morning, so 